again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Scrap 5, June 2021 edition. And today we are to use three or more die cuts, a glassine bag or tissue paper, paper clips, embossing powder or a folder, and three brads. So I'm going to pull out my fun Echo Park, I believe that's the All Boy Collection. And just flip through and kind of show you what I have going on. Now, I was going to use tissue paper, but um, when I was organizing some things and putting some page kits together, I found this one little glassine bag. And I was like, score one for the home team. So instead of just leaving it as a glassine bag and, you know, just kind of making it a layer, I go ahead and pull out my Close to My Heart sequins in the gold mix and it's got like iridescence and clear and stars in there um, I was basically trying if you see I'm like digging way down to the bottom I'm getting a lot of the little stars like the thing is like chucked full of these little bitty baby stars that I don't know I never use so I pretty much stuck the majority of those in there because they kind of fall to the bottom anyway and I just fill that bag up I take my art glitter glue which is in my fine liner bottle and I glue the bag together and then I'm going to take my dry my ATG and just fold that flap over just for a little extra seal. I don't want those sequins to bust out at a later date. Now you can see the sequins. I mean it's not like fabulous but you can tell there's sequins in there and that was kind of all I was going for was just the little hidden element. So I am going to use this striped paper and I'm going to do the one third, two third, and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna count that to make sure that I have four inches, and I just grab my steel ruler, line it up where I want it, and I'm just gonna tear that paper. I am gonna bring my edge distressor, distressor, words are hard, in, and really rough up that edge that's going to hit the blue paper, and that is just some cardstock that I pulled for this. And I'm going to do some embossing. Uh, I do want to draw a line first because I don't really want to stamp and emboss where I know that that other paper is going to come. So I just use my T-square ruler and a pencil and just draw a hard line right there. It will be covered up so it doesn't really matter. I went through all my stamp sets and found all of my school and or graduation themed uh, stamps because this is going to document another part of my son's um, graduation party I did do a whole mini album dedicated to this his graduation and his graduation party but I do want this to go into my regular family albums as well so this is just a couple pages that I'm putting there and let's be honest you guys um I don't have a lot of pictures to scrap these days uh, I am getting more now that summer has hit and things are opening up and the masks are coming off uh I'm going back to work. I don't even know when this is gonna go up. I will have been, oh, I will have been back at work, like physically on site in office working for a whole week when you guys see this, so mm, wish me luck. <laughs> Keep that to myself. Alright, so I do pull out that recollections blue glitter, it's very glittery embossing powder. And I'm just trying to use up some of those colors. Because uh, you guys know I'm going to be switching those all out with the Bruce Monroe embossing powders. Because they're great. Um, this was, this was kind of hard to tell if it was melted or not because of all the um, glitter in it. So, I don't know. I did get it. I let it dry and then ran my hand lightly over it. But I just go ahead and stamp the three images on and use my... Uh, coffee filter to catch the excess. I did use my Stampin', or not my Stampin', my embossing buddy to make sure that I, you know, put powder all over the page. And then I take all the stamps off screen, because that did take quite a while to do, and just go ahead and use the Versamark and get that stamped down and embossed. And just kind of create my own background for this. Um, it said embossing and I went for it. So I've got paper clips and push pins and a ruler and a school bus and hooray grad and balloons and little graduation caps and graduation day and congratulations and all kinds of fun stuff sitting over there. 
I don't think it says congrats. I don't think it says graduation day. So I think it says congratulations. Anyway, um, so that is my son in the classes that's hunched and my you know, bald brother. <laughs> I love him. Uh, so that is Sam and his one and only uncle. Well, that's not true. He does have another uncle, Uncle Steve, because of my sister is married. But that's my brother and my brother's wife, uh, Sarah. So they were, everybody was making Sam take pictures because Sam doesn't like to take pictures. And ha, ha, we make him take pictures when we can. <laughs> so I am just going to go ahead and hear those together and make sure that they are the same exact same size and then I'm going to pull that washi tape off yeah yeah I know I put so much on there that I'm going to pull it off because I want a separation in between the two photos so I'm going to mat this sucker several different times oh I'm going to mat both of them and just try to get them just a smidge apart uh, because I want you know I want it to look like two separate photos I don't want them to touch I know, weird, right? Normally, I want them to like be right on top of each other, but I don't. So, so far, I've got the glassine bag. Check. Technically, I've already got the paper clips because I used a paper clip stamp, but I pulled some paper clips anyway. Uh, I have the emboss, the embossing, so check. And we are going to get die cuts on there, some more paper clips, and several brads because this collection also had brads with it. However, I think it was cheating, you guys, because they're the adhesive back brads, but they say adhesive brads. They say brads. And I went with it. <clears throat> All right, so I do not know where I was because I got sidetracked and started talking to my fiance. And 25 minutes later, I'm back to doing the voiceover. <laughs> so I have this one scrap of yellow here, and as you can see, I'm trying to make it work. I'm going to paper piece it together because it's... I cut it wonky right there on the end and yeah, so I'm just going to take that piece and make it work. You know, you can tell if you look real close at it, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I just trim that down and then I'm going to do it one more time on the green. And then we will be ready to start creating the layout and getting the embellishments on, embellishments on there. I still have to get three or more die cuts, which I do get plenty of die cuts, stickers, and chipboard pieces on there. Uh, I will put three arrow paper clips on as well, and I will at least get three brads on. Um, because I have all of the embossing behind it and the powder, I just want to make sure that I do get it stuck nicely. And I'm just going to pop it right there. Hold it for just a few. I'm going to go ahead and stick the glassine bag right up there at the top. And may I just want to make sure that all the sequins were pushed up. Here's my paper clip. I'm going to get that little paper clip stuck in there. And I'm going to take all these cute little pieces that I have sitting right there on the right side of the layout. And I'm going to start putting them down all around. I believe that I actually get them all, all of them on there. I think I do because I pulled them off of the sheets and out of the die pack. And I just want to make it work. I do use liquid glue on all of them uh, instead of the ATG because of all the mixed media that I, all the embossing that I have on there. And like I said, the powder, um, I have like the little race car cause we, you know, race into the finish. I have the little checkered flags, you know, all kinds of little fun stuff. There's a brad. I'm putting the brads down now, as you can see, they're the adhesive back brads. They're all on there. So check that one off. So I've got at least three die cuts on there. I have the glassine bag. I have paper clips, I have the um, actual heat embossing, and I now have three brads. So I have completed the scrap five and absolutely adore it. I do stick some things onto the picture as well, just cause I like to do that. But basically I'm just filling up all the little empty spaces in between all of the uh, embossed images back there. So while I'm finishing that up, I do want to remind you that today is a hop. So listed in the description box down below, I will have all the lovelies that are playing along with us today. So go ahead and hop on over and see what they created using these same five elements.
it's always fun when you see like everyone has the same starting point and how it ends up and how different they all are. It's like, it's really cool. I'm pretty ex excited about that. <laughs> yeah, so this video is quickly coming to an end. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below if you have not already. Yeah, I think that's it. And also, uh, I'm still having a giveaway on my channel for my thousand subbies. I am giving away several different prizes. So hop on over, watch that video, and f find out how to enter the drawing. I do go ahead and add a whole bunch of those stars in, and then I realize I'm going to grab some more. <laughs> I just pull them all off of the sticker sheet now and I am popping them all in, down and around. Just because I thought like, you know, we can, I wasn't putting them in clusters as I originally thought that I was going to. And I'm just making sure to grab them all. Yeah, trying to kill it off. It's always my goal. Kill, kill, kill. And we're still going, aren't we? I'm just still putting stuff down. Don't forget that my Simple to Stunning, my next class, eight-week series, free to all, will start on the 21st of June. So pop on back to my channel and check that out. It's just basically creating three different layouts using the same design and continuously adding more and more and more and more to it. That's going to do it. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thanks. Bye.